get about maybe four to five hours sleep every night. And last night, when I know that I'm going to do the sharing here today, this morning, you know, I went to bed last night about one o'clock in the in the morning, and I woke up about six o'clock, and I couldn't sleep. I kept on thinking, what can I share? You know, if my story can touch any one of you, you know, it will make everything that I do is such a, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, Singapore has been, a, you know, very special to me in my heart because I go to attend my school, my elementary, no, my secondary school in Singapore. in the 80s. Um, I attended secondary one to secondary four in Singapore before I went abroad to the US. So in my background, um, I've been in the commercial real estate for the last uh, 20 years. So I guess like in Jeunesse, you know, we reveal a lot of our secrets. The reason we do that is because we want to share everything from the bottom of our heart. You know, like today, Lin Lao Si revealed how much he makes, you know, in Jeunesse. <laughs> so, and a lot of people are curious, Lisa, you, are, you achieve your financial freedom. Why are you still in the business? And you're so passionate about it. And are you interested to know how big is my investment portfolio? So, you know, our investment portfolio, we own 8,000 units of the um, single family apartments building complex. So the investment portfolio, but together I have, another, I have two other business partners. So the total portfolio is in nine digit US dollars. So I know that Singaporeans, you're very logical, you're very analytical. So I'd like to give you some numbers. You know, in the US, we invest in commercial real estate um, apartment complex. I, I don't invest in single family home, but I'm going to give you some numbers. You know, in the US, you know, an average about half million dollar home in the US. If you were to buy the property and you rent it out for the rental income, you know, you, you probably generate about $2,500 a month. You know, actually, I just rounded out the number. It might not be, you know, I mean, you probably don't get like around 2500 US dollars, but I just tried to make it a little bit easier. So, and Ling Lao Su was sharing that his monthly income is about 200,000. That to a lot of people, that might not be a realistic number. So I'm just going to cut that in half, okay? So can you live with $100,000 US very comfortably in Singapore? Yes. Okay, so if you were to invest in a half million dollar home in the US, in order for you to generate 100,000 dollars a month, you need to invest like 40 home. You know how much is that investment? 20 million. So can you imagine that? That's why I like to put things in perspective. Because a lot of people did not think that, you know, this kind of business, you know, they have a negative image of this industry but not in GMS. In the last four years in GMS, I have witnessed with my own eyes the amazing things that have happened that has, you know, completely, you know, changed my life. Because I've never witnessed anything in this magnitude. You know, like Samson four years ago when I known him, 
He was driving, everybody knows that, he was driving a second-hand Honda Accord. And just a few weeks ago, because of IMO's training, I went to his home to pick up, you know, like the game, the tools that we need for IMO's training. And he owns a $1.5 million home. And in his garage, he didn't even have enough space. <laughs> you know, he had his car parked on the driveway. That's such a tremendous, you know, dramatic change in his life that I witnessed. And he's not the only one. And you know, nowadays I travel so much because of my business. It has spent to 20 countries. You know, in my traditional, in my investment business, you know, we invest in the U.S. in five states and also in China, in Shanghai and Beijing. But because of Jenna's business, I get to travel so much. Average about maybe six weeks. And you know, it was like, I have a tough time. One time I was talking to Samson. You know, I love to travel. But the only thing is like, I have a hard time packing. Because you know, like women, we have so many things like we have to bring, right? So, and Samson tell me, no, these are the simple. Just bring an empty suitcase. You know, you can shop. You know, and you know, the last um, uh, country, like we came from Hong Kong. So, and then when we were just walking around the airport, and we found Samson, again, shopping, you know, for the watches. You know, and that's that kind of lifestyle that Diamond has nowadays. And also, Yvonne was telling me that, you know, sometimes, you know, she, she, want to, she doesn't want to be around Samson so much because, you know, she went on shopping too much. <laughs> so, the, okay, so, you know, um, what I want to say is, you know, in Jeunesse, it has, um, you know, changed my life completely. So, and it brings to me the meaning, you know, that money cannot buy. And another thing is, I set a good example for my children. You know, they have the courage to pursue the dream. And, you know, and also, I used to be that women, supportive women behind my husband's success. But Jeunesse has given me the platform to shine on my own. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you.